Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh from learn-adoption.com. Today we are going to talk about object repository concept in test project. So we'll start with what is object repository in test project, how to access or use the existing elements which is getting accessed in the previous test or how you can create the new element. Not only the elements, we'll also talk about how you can manage the application URLs. This feature is going to help you in maintenance. The moment you get these kind of changes or in the application or application URL. So it is always easy to manage from a central repository or a central place in spite of making changes directly in the test cases. So this is the dashboard for test project. Now let me open any of the project yeah so in the left panel you can see we have elements we have applications data stores and parameters right now we are going to focus on only on the two uh, tabs the moment you click on elements you can see how many tests you have created for each and every test we have a dedicated folder here okay so this is exactly like what we have seen in you know different tools like qtp catalon test complete or any other different tools in the market which follow this object repository concept so let's say if i want to work with crm application so the moment i recorded crm application each and every element is here which is properly in a different folder okay so right now uh, for if you just see this part this is the name description is blank type you can also see that this is the locator so this is locator which is nothing but xpath for that login button for logout we have a link for password we have a text box and for welcome which is a welcome admin it is again a xpath so if you want to you know add or see any web element say i want to see this particular login button one so you can see the name description which locator so if you want to change something you can directly change from here so you can see for web automation we have different locators id class name tag name xpath css name link text partial link text in case if you want to change it you can change from here and you can save it in case if you don't want you can directly delete from here or you can see you can also navigate to a different folder so right now they are into CRM folder, but in case if you want to change them into a different folder, you can do that. Okay, so let's say you want to add a new web element. Again, it will ask you, do you want to add for Android, iOS or for web? Because the moment you change these options, these options will change. So let's say I want to add something for Android. For Android, you will see the locators will be a little different. Here you will find accessibility ID and Android UI automator. The moment I want to add for iOS again you will see a different change you can see we have two additional locator called name text field or iOS UI automation and finally if you go go for web again you will see the locator will be changed here so uh, again if you want to add some new web element just give the name description which type of web element you have okay so let's say this is for button or uh, any other radio button text box you just select you can give the values and you can save it so test object repository will help you to remove or i will say reduce your maintenance because if you don't use object repository the moment one locator is changing you have to make all the changes so if you go back to the number of you know test cases we have let's say i have five test cases four test cases one two three four and all these test cases are using login button now if login button is changed definitely i have to update all the test cases but in test project what you need to do whatever web element is changed you just go back to that particular web element and update here it will be reflected in each and every test case which is using this particular web element okay so let me show you um let's say i want to add uh you know check image this is our new web element i'm using uh, this will be used for image validation so let's say this is image do we have any image yes we have image 
Now, if you want, you can write the custom XPath. I'm just writing some dummy XPath. Okay, um, ID equal to me. So this is the web, uh, you know, the web element which we have created and you can use this in any of the test cases very interesting feature please use this now another very interesting tab which i want to highlight or the feature is application so whatever applications we have used so far we can directly manage from here so let's say you have created thousand scenarios and all these scenarios are using one application now the url has changed in spite of changing all the urls in all the test cases you can come to this place you can uh, change or update your application right now let's say you have multiple instances of your application you have one for uat one for production one for staging you can create multiple applications directly from here and you can start using whenever you want so if you want to uh, you know add anything you can just go to this add op edit option and you can change it in case if you want to add a new application again it will ask you the same widget do you want to work with Android, iOS or web? Let's say I want to work with web and I can also give what kind of application it is. So I will say I just want to work with google.com and click on finish. So this application got added here and this application you, you can use in any of the test scenarios. This is very helpful and this will help you in the maintenance with, mi with minimal changes you can update or you can modify existing test cases so there are other things as well like data sources and parameters which definitely we will be talking about in the upcoming videos we have a dedicated video for data sources and parameters okay and test and jobs anyways we have we have been using from uh, class one so in case if you find any issue in first three tab let me know in the comment section and if you like this video hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye